Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple mail merge using, a, using an existing Excel database and a publisher file. I have my database open right now in Excel. And here you can see that I have information for first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. And that's pretty consistent with the columns that you'd want to have set up in your database. However, some people choose to put the two, the first name and the last name together, which is just fine as well. I have this on a tab in my Excel file that I have named database. I also have a tab for emails. So if I wanted to do, let's say, an email blitz campaign, I could use this tab here for that. But right now we're going to be focusing on this tab named databases. Okay, I do not need this open while I'm doing this operation, so I'm going to go ahead and close that and go back to my publisher file. So here's where I want to put my mailing information on this back piece here. And to do that, what I'm going to do first is need to link my Excel file with my publisher file. I do that by going over to the mailings tab and choosing select recipients and use existing list. And I'm choosing use existing list because I already have that database created. So now I'm going to go find that database. Here it is here. And then it's asking me to select the table that I want. Remember I have those two tabs in Excel. I have one that's called database and one that's called emails. This is basically asking me which set of data do I want to use. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and select database and hit OK. And now you can see here that it's going to pop up with the names that are on that database. So all four of them. Now you, may, you can choose to only select a few of these. Let's say I didn't want to send something to Jared. Um, I just simply unclick him from the list and then it will not include that name in the mail merge. So let's go ahead and click him for now. All this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So now the document is linked with the Excel file. But now what I need to do is I need to tell the document how I want the information formatted. So to do that, we're going to click on this Insert Merge field. Now what this is doing here is it's looking at the column headers that I had in my Excel file. Remember I had the first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip? It's got that information right here. So in this case, let's go ahead and click First Name. And you can see here it made a new text box and it has the first name on there. Let me zoom in a little bit. Perfect. Now I want to include a space between the first name and the last name. Let me make this text box a little bit bigger. There we go. So let's hit space and then you would just insert the rest of these merge fields as you would if you were typing. So first name, last name on one line. I'm going to hit enter and go to the next line. And now I want to insert the address, another space, city, comma, space, state, space, and the zip. And now I can actually format these also the way that I would for the rest of this information. So I just go back to my home tab. I can go ahead and uh, click on whatever font I want. In this case, I want to use Choose Book Antiqua. Very nice. And I would go ahead and leave it in black so the postal folks won't have any trouble reading it. Actually, I think it needs to be a little further down, too. OK, excellent. So now I've got this information on there, but how can I tell if it's going to look correct? So let's go back to our mailing tab, and we're going to click on Preview Results. And by doing that, you can see that it's formatted very nicely here. You can go ahead and click through your recipients. Make sure they all work. And once that's good, then you're going to go ahead and finish the merge. And depending on how you wanted to save these, let's say you wanted to print them, you can merge to the printer, and it would go ahead and print them out for you. You can merge to a new publication, which would create a multiple page uh, document that then could be sent to the printer. And those are your two options that you'd want to choose from. Perfect. We are all ready to go. This is now ready to get sent to the printer. I do want to mention one thing also. 
your printer may prefer you not to do this step. A lot of times if you just send the database and the PDF of this document to the printer, they will take care of it for you. So it's really only if you've got a printer that has specifically asked you to set this up or if you're going to be printing those in-house that you'll need to do that step. Thank you and happy mailing!